Well, it's been another off-season full of change in Western Sydney, but in appointing new head coach Carl Robinson, the club feel as though they've made a big step in the right direction. Our football reporter James Dodd sat down with the Welshman to see how the Robinson revolution is coming along. I am, yes, there's definitely a progression. Uh, I'm challenging them on a day-to-day -day basis, um, trying to install some new ideas with them, but they've been very engaging, very positive, and it's been a good start. Can you give us an insight into the sort of things that you're trying to change at a new club? Is it purely physical and, and tactical work, or is it the mental side of things that you're trying to change as well? Well, the first part of it is physical. We need to get them up to speed. Obviously, we've got 12 weeks of pre-season, so it's important you don't get too much into them too early so they don't plateau. Um, within that, I'm trying to drip feed them the tactical ideas of how I want to play with and without the ball. So we try and do that, whether it's in, in early phases of the session or later phases of the session. Um, and then also I add in some football components, which is part and parcel of the game, which is strictly not tactical, which is freedom to play in certain areas and things like that. So trying to give it a mixed bag at the moment, but the engagement that I've had from them, the, the willingness, their attitude has been spot on. We've spoken before about your interest in, in giving young players a chance. Um, have you liked what you've seen from those players that you've been integrating into the first team setup so far? And also, are you any closer to bringing in some of the new players that you've been mentioned and spoken about in terms of new transfers coming into the club? Yeah, that's an ongoing process. You know, what I'd said from when I walked in is I don't want to rush into and jump into a, a signing which I don't think we need. So I've took the first three weeks at the moment, four weeks I'll do to evaluate what we have uh, internally. And there's some exceptional young players, I will say that. Obviously, some people know about some, but there's others that I think that can... Um, certainly push some players we've got in this squad who, are, who are, haven't been featured prior. With, with young players it's important you look at what they can do rather than what they can't do. I, I'm sick and tired of people saying, you know, well he, he can't do that or they can't do this, but let's focus on the positives and there's, you know, the positives of these young players I have in this group are very, very good. What my job now is to teach them what I expect pr uh, for each position, the player profile, what I want and the position specific of what I want in that role. Uh, and then to work on it, you know, we do a lot of individual unit training, group training based upon that. So um, we've got a good group of young players and they're challenging. They're very competitive. I like the intensity. I train hard because if you train hard, you play hard. Um, I want them to have that fight in them. You know, an example of the boy Ali, uh, you know, he, he gets kicked around and when he's on the floor, I say to him, don't let the senior boys kick you around because when you step into the A-League, they will do that because they will try and affect you mentally not as well as well as physically so he's got to learn to deal with that in training and he has he's been bouncing around and he gets up with a smile the worst thing a senior player hates is if a young lad's got confidence not arrogance confidence and has got an edge about him and um, so i'm trying to develop that edge for these young players but we've got some exceptional young players here and my job is to coach and develop them and try and push them through in the first team because a senior player does not want a young player breathing down their neck and especially a coach that actually believes in young players as well. As a new coach coming in, I'm sure you've, you've reviewed elements of last season and where it went wrong and some of the good things as well, but how much of that do you actually focus on, Carl? Is it a lot of past work or are you more clean slate for everyone and, and we get going with my ideas? It's For me, it's a clean slate for everyone. The, the day I walked in, I said to the guys in my very first meeting, uh, it's irrelevant to me what happened before. It's none of my business, uh, whether there was good, bad or indifferent things. What I require, what I expect is a certain standard. Uh, this is how I work. There is no grey areas. It's black and white. I want it done this way. Uh, I'll work with you. If you don't understand, I'll teach you. That's my job. Um, but there's certain non-negotiables which I won't put up with or I will accept um, and they're aware of them. So it's a clean slate for everyone. I think it's great for some. Obviously others will be a little bit hesitant because when a new manager comes in they don't know where they stand but it's down to the players who pick themselves. You're still young as a head coach, Cole, but is this job at the Western Sydney Wanderers arguably the biggest challenge of your career so far? Possibly. Uh, when people say I am a young coach, I'm 44 years of age now, um, but you know, I'm fortunate enough to have managed over 220 odd league games. So, you know, it depends which way you look at it. Every new club is a challenge. You know, I look at that. It's a it's a fantastic football club here. It's an unbelievably big football club, and with big football clubs comes expectations. And you know, whether it's players or coaches, they all want to try and test themselves at the highest level at big clubs. And I've got an opportunity to do that here. So it's a challenge I want to embrace. I will embrace, I'll enjoy it. I will give it you know, my maximum effort, as will all the staff. 
as will all the players, and we'll see where that takes us. But I'm a firm believer in good things happen to good people, and if you stick to the process, it doesn't happen overnight. There is a plan in place, and if you stick to that, then you get the rewards longer later down the line. Now, this next question, winning isn't allowed to be the answer, but I'm always fascinated to know if Carl Robinson could hear what other people think about his team, what would you like them to say about a Carl Robinson side? I think the, the, the general answer from most coaches would be, you know, a super exciting, fast, entertaining, attacking team. You know, there are very few far of them around, you know, so you have to be realistic with what you've got. Sometimes it's dictated about the players you have, the squad you have before you're able to rebuild and restructure what you want. I want an intense team. I want a very organised team. There's always structure to, to my teams with and without the ball. You know, I like to play a certain way with the ball. Uh, I think that's shown already over here in Australia and that will be maintained again here. You know, will we do it slightly differently? Possibly based upon the personnel we have. Um, but the more ball you have, the more opportunities you create, the more opportunities you create, the more goals you score. Having said that, you also have to be aware of, you know, uh, defence wins titles. So I'm not blinded by that either. So it's about picking and choosing what you want to become and how you become that based upon the personnel you have. So, but intensity, hard working, uh, enjoyable to watch and players playing with a smile on their face. I'm sick and tired of watching people unhappy in teams and things like that. I, I don't train like that. You don't see me with a miserable face on the sidelines. Um, I'm always smiling. I want my team to play with a smile on their face because it's, it's an enjoyable. We're very lucky to do the job we do.